this is the Streams of Joy International Daily Devotion brought to you by Priceless. And today is the 9th of June 2023. Our topic is Whose are you? Our memory verse is taken from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. Hallelujah. Our focus scripture is from Psalm 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In our focus scripture, the psalmist described the Lord as his shepherd. He went further to proclaim that he shall not want. The psalmist presented himself as being a sheep under the hands of the Lord, whom he referred to as his shepherd. He spoke of whose he was and went further to describe his own state of not being in want. The psalmist was simply saying that he was who he was because of whose he was. Hallelujah. Friend, you are who you are because of whose you are. You are who you are because of the God you serve. You are the excellency of God's greatness because you belong to him. You are the best of your generation because you belong to him who sits on the throne. You are the cream of the crop. Hallelujah. Because you belong to God. You are the preferred one because you belong to him. Whose you are has made you who you are. Because of whose you are, get set, realities that are beyond your capacity will come your way. Because of whose you are, the doors that have not opened to others will open to you. Because of whose you are, the battles that consume others will take you higher. Because of whose you are, what reduces others will increase you. Because of whose you are, the earth will help you greatly. Because of whose you are, your case will be different in Jesus' name. If you have made Jesus your Lord, then you belong to the monarch of the entire universe. If you truly belong to God, then the enemy has no right over your destiny. If you truly belong to God, then the enemy has lost the permission to afflict you. If you truly belong to God, then you have broken out of the snare of the enemy. If truly you belong to God, then you are no longer a candidate of the wickedness of the enemy. You were not wired to belong to God and still be the victim of the enemy. No way! If you belong to God, then the enemy has no right over your life anymore. Let us boldly declare, I belong to God. The enemy has no right over me and my family. In Jesus' name, amen. Do well to join us for our 7 a.m. prayers. Bye.